Now, this next one, now this is something that got my attention because this is probably the car that I was most enamored with as a youth when I was a youngster. The Countach. I used to go, Will, to a sub shop, and I'm not talking about a subway. Okay. I'm talking about a local type of sub shop. And I used to go there on my own accord as a youngster. Yeah. I would roll over there on my bike, just just get myself a sub sandwich. I'm not gonna remember the name right now, but I'm going down. I'm 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 deep down memory lane. Is there a Countach? There? Somebody, my brother probably remembers the name right now and he's yelling. Yeah. And on the wall inside this little sub shop was a poster of a Lamborghini Countach. And in front of the Lamborghini Countach, like maybe on the hood or standing in front of it, was like a woman in a bikini, like a neon bikini or something like that. And I was a and I was a young. It was something like that. I don't know if it was that exact um, poster, but it was something like that. There's like a whole area. It might have been that one. This one right here. No, maybe it wasn't that one. But the coon. There was some sort of a combination effect with that. Was it red? It was red, right? Listen, man, I can't remember exactly which photo it was. I'm actually surprised you found so many of them, man. But no. I used to eat my sub. It wasn't like I had a phone in front of me. I would eat my sub and just look at the poster. Just right in front of it. Just stare That's it. At That's what you would do. Just a young, you know, I don't know yeah. what, what my age was, but like so much so that I, I remembered it. And and so, and also just this car was an icon. The shape of it, it was just so, uh, just so distinctive. Sure, yeah. For a young kid, just like a Hot Wheels, man. Just like a, so cool. Anyway, Lamborghini is doing the unthinkable. They're bringing it back. Oh, my God. They're bringing it back. And they're bringing it back as a hybrid. Oh, wow. I, I didn't see this video, actually. This is really cool. Yeah, this cool. just came out. Look at the, oh, the arm hairs are going up. Yeah, of course. As the paint, what is it? It's like getting <laughs> sandblasted. Oh my goodness, this is, even this video is, I'm glad I'm, I didn't watch it until now. This is very cool the way they've put this together. So what do they mean by hybrid? They mean I put gas in it and that charges, like are we talking like a like a Prius or a hybrid uh, in the sense that I can plug it in as well? Well, uh, is this, we should, can, uh, we should get to the bottom of this. Future is our it. legacy there. I mean, there you can look at it. It looks so cool. I'm not even normally into Lamborghinis, at least the recent stuff. But this one, they got me on this one. You like this one? I mean, it's going to be like $2 million or something. So, I mean, they don't really have me on this one. I don't see hybrid. But, I mean, they have my attention. Oh, it's not a hybrid at all? Well, I don't see the search term. Let me try. Uh... Uh-oh. Do I have bad information here? I feel like you were the one who told me before we... It is a hybrid. Okay, okay. I'm. I do we have any more specific? So it has a V12, 800 horsepower. Uh, Lamborghini has unveiled a brand new 2.6 million dollar supercar with a very familiar name. Yeah, the Countach. 2.6 million. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> uh, the new Countach is a direct descendant of the original. It has a V12 engine directly behind two seats, and like every Lamborghini sports car since the Countach, is shaped like a low profile wedge. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. That car looks so good. Uh, one big difference, the new Countach is a hybrid. It's not a plug-in hybrid. It stores power in a supercapacitor that can provide some additional power to the wheels during hard acceleration. At low speeds, it also provides power between gear shifts to help smooth the uncomfortable surging and bucking that can come from Lamborghini's aggressive race car style transmission. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. it's a it's a cool looking collector's item. It's so expensive that you can't really drive it or... Yeah, I, I, but who cares? You just park it in a place like this and you look at it. Yeah. And you walk past it and you smell it every so often. You can wedge it under a door so it stops the door. You take a photo of it and and then put a, a poster on the wall and eat a sub and look at it. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's good enough for me. I think that's what I'm going to do.